I'm willing to bet that at least some of you out there work in technology, as do I. And if you do, I'm also willing to bet that you've had to deal with the age-old problems of technology and boardrooms, conference rooms, resources, whatever you want to call them. Ultimately, these are one of the biggest headaches that someone in technology ever has to deal with. And that's because you have people, many different types of people, and technology. And you need it to work flawlessly. And you know what? It doesn't always do that. That's why today I want to take a second to introduce you to Joan. Joan has helped us solve this problem. And I'm going to tell you how she did that. Today, I want to introduce you to a little pet project of mine that I have been working on at the office. This is not a promotion. This is not a sponsored video. They did send me a sample to try, but I've been blown away at how easy it was to set this up, get this working, and how it has solved such a simple problem that I decided to share it with you today. So no joke, this has been something that's been going on for a long time for us. Boardrooms in our company are uh, difficult to get a hold of at the best of times. And when they do, there's always confusion around it. So that's why we've been looking at boardroom reservation systems. That's the whole idea of putting a tablet or some sort of device that can help you manage boardrooms. The problem is this, people book a resource in their calendar and then the day comes to actually go and use it and one of two things happens. First thing, they go to use their boardroom and when they get there, there's other people in there. There's confusion, nobody knows who had it booked, everyone thinks they had it booked and Ultimately, it just ends up in waste time, wasted time and wasted productivity. Possibility number two, the day comes and because they didn't really need it in the first place, they just don't go at all, which means the boardroom sits completely empty. Even though other people could probably be using it, they don't know that it's available and they don't have any way to confirm it. So we've looked at options before where you install a iPad or a kiosk of some sort out front of the boardroom and you have a scheduling software on it. Well, ultimately these get to be complicated. Cost of an iPad, which we all know is quite expensive. Often some sort of kiosk or mounting equipment to put it outside of the boardroom. Ultimately we need to get power to that iPad. So we're coring through concrete or we're running some sort of cable management system just to provide a power plug for the iPad. And ultimately, somebody ends up playing games on it, misusing it, or worst of all, it ends up unplugged and dead when people go to use the boardroom. So that's where the simplicity of Joan comes into the picture. The device shipped to me turned on. It was in the box and it actually has a message on it that says, hi there, I'm Joan. Thanks for making me part of your team. I'm already running, so there's no need for buttons. Just visit the portal for the next steps. We're happy to have you on board. Joan is an e-ink reader, much like a Kindle or anything like that. It's e-paper. And what that means is it's very, very low energy usage. Uh, you're going to get months of usage on this tablet without a charge. Now, the other thing is it is actually very light and very small. As you can see, there's no buttons. There's no way that anyone can misuse this. They're not going to start playing games on it. No one's going to install Fortnite. It has one purpose and it does it well. Since there's no need for a power cable or complicated locking systems to make sure it stays in place, Joan uses this super high tech device called a magnet. You're just going to peel off the backing and you're going to stick it to the glass on the boardroom or the resource that you want to have booked. It's that easy. The magnet will stick to the back of the device and because the device is so light, it's going to hold it there securely in place. Now what I want to do is show you how easy it is to set up Joan. So when you first hit the Joan website, you're going to notice there's two options. One is a cloud-based solution. There's a yearly fee for this one, but you need to do nothing other than log in. The second option is an on-premise solution. You're going to need to set up your own servers for this and there's an additional uh, instructions there. I'm not going to go into the scope of that this one. To be honest, for the small yearly fee, I would choose the hosted solution. It's just one less thing to worry about, especially with a solution like this. 
So you're going to want to head over to portal.getjoan.com. Create an account if you don't have one, otherwise log in. And while you're doing that, you're going to want to go ahead and plug in the tablet using the USB cable that came with your Joan device. So once you have logged into the site, you're going to want to go ahead and add a calendar to Joan. Today we're going to use G Suite. And as always with G Suite, you have to choose the account that you're logged in. This needs to be an admin account. And you're going to want to make sure you give access to your calendar resources. And as always, you uh, click allow and you trust to have those permissions applied. So with the device still plugged in, we're going to want to go ahead and download the Joan Configurator. This is available for Mac or PC. It's a small little app we're going to install that allows us to set the Wi-Fi on the device. This will step through a simple setup. When it's done, it's going to ask you for your Wi-Fi and your password. The app's then going to send it on over to the device to set up Wi-Fi. And when it's done, you should see the screen update with a code on it. Now, this code, we're going to take and enter into the Joan website. This will actually pair the device and the website together. And again, we should see success once that's done. So the next step is pretty simple. We're just going to want to go ahead and choose the calendar that we want to assign to that device. And you should see it update. And sure enough, you have now connected that one resource to that specific Joan device. Okay, so from here, we're going to head back over to the website and we can see the dashboard of the options we have. First one up is set office hours. This one here just lets us pick the hours of the day that we actually want the device to be on and the days of the week. And then after that, next option is customize or show your brand. This just lets us upload a logo to show on the device. Next, we have an option to set uh, device options per device. So for example, when you want your next meet now to be, whether or not you want touch sounds to be made, the touch screen itself can be turned off. Uh, if you want to show the meeting subject, if you want to have the option for people to even cancel or check into meetings, there's a bunch of options and these can all be set on a per device basis. And finally, a handy way to see the number of paired devices, any devices with low battery or weak Wi-Fi signal. Users can head to their calendar and create appointments like normal, and you'll see it propagate over to the panel. Users can also go up to the panel and automatically meet now, or they can pick a time for a start and finish to do a meeting later in the day, right from the Joan panel itself. You can also walk up and cancel meetings if you decide they're just not needed. So the one other thing that I'd like to point out is this is an interesting tablet. There's a full API available for this. So anyone who's feeling adventurous, I'm going to put the link to it down below. Guys, that's it for today. I hope you found that interesting. It is a product that's filled a very big void in our office. Um, we have found that the adoption has been really quick. From a technical standpoint, from an administration standpoint, there was almost nothing to do. You set up the devices, you stick them out on the wall, you make sure they're charged every couple months, and that's it. So thank you for watching guys, and I will see you in the next video.